was a clear black night, a clear white moon where Reggie was on the streets trying to consume some skirts for the E so I could get some phones rolling in my ride, chilling on the line. So left on two one and Lewis brother shooting dice. So I said, let's do this. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. I'm sure to that too. I mean, think about it. If if you're passing a driver off the road and you see they're standing there, they appear to be all right. All right, Brittany Richardson. I was about to call you Brittany in pink, but you guys know her as Brittany <laughs> Richardson now. <laughs> What's going on? How you feel? <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'm tired this morning. I had a late night the other night. It came up on our tractor trailer. There was rest. Thankfully, yeah. the guy was okay, but I stayed on scene until the tow truck got there. Yeah, we're gonna we we we're we, we gonna talk about all of that. So let me let me just back up for a minute. So, Brittany, man, uh, let you know introduce yourself and let everybody know who you are and how long you've been trucking and everything. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Sure. My name is Brittany Richardson. Uh, I've been trucking just over 11 years officially now. I started January 2012. Um, very love it. Absolutely love what I do. Um, but yeah, I, I'm also on social media. I have a large YouTube following. Some would debate that, apparently. But <laughs> I'll tell you what. We reached over 5.5 million people the last week so we have 18 cameras on the truck uh i just share my life as i go down the road and we capture what the cameras capture it's pretty cool all right that's what's up man and if you guys want to know uh more about uh britney you know she's a good good friend of the show this definitely just type her name in and put slash lockout you'll see all of the conversations that we uh that we had so you guys could get caught up. Well, look, listen, all right. I, I seen a few, we, we, we gonna, we gonna unpack this one package at a time. So let's start with the idea of outfitting your truck with, uh, <laughs> with, with the cameras. I mean, I mean, wow. I mean, you, you, the, I mean, there, I mean, I've seen people like, put cameras on a trucks and stuff like that. But the way you, the, the way you put it together, man, is, is, is awesome. Like it, it's like a literal television series. Like, you know, you Thank got, you. You, you got the, you, you got the cuts, you got the edits. Uh, Before, before you tell me, you know, where the idea came from, are you doing the edits yourself or you got somebody else doing the edits for you? Yes, I, I do it all. I wear all the hats. So I will put this out there. If anybody's a talented editor or has skills with SEO and editing short videos and so forth, please contact me. My info is on the about page on YouTube, my email, because I would love to hire some people. I do it all myself and it's a lot of work. <laughs> I can imagine. I, I, I can imagine because I, I keep telling people, I keep telling people they don't they don't believe me. I had a debate, literally had a debate with somebody in the comment session because I I talked to uh, Nick and Carla. Remember them? Nick and Nick. I don't know if I do. Nick and Carla, the lesbian couple, they used to. Uh, they used to truck drive years ago, but they they uh, they retired from trucking, and now they got their own uh, mm. they got their own online online or social media uh, outfit. She does a lot of reactions, and and uh, and they got like a little online store. So yeah, um, I didn't know that. I'll have to look them up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so okay, okay, so. Where did the idea come from uh, to to outfit your truck the way you did? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So. 
You know, this is, excuse me, a damn fine cup of coffee. I've had, I can't tell you how many cups of coffee in my life, and this, this is one of the best. <laughs> so it's a combination of things. Um, probably, the, probably the thing that really did it was the threats a while back when I was dealing with a lot of that stuff, false accusations. We had people calling my company, filing false bad driving reports and saying, we're going to, if you don't leave social media, we're going to call your company and get your CDL taken away and use the truck and all this stuff. Anyway, so I kind of did it as a defense mechanism at first. It's like, well, fine. If this is the case, I'm going to get this thing out with cameras. So if anybody ever approaches this truck, it's going to get caught on camera and the truth will be told. So that's kind of how it started. And then I started thinking, what an opportunity, you know, to do like an ice road trucker type of thing where you just capture all the craziness that we experience as truck drivers. So it became a show. All right. So what what happened with the um what happened with the uh the reality show? I mean, I I um you you talked about that a little bit. That was that was also uh an inspiration to do that too. Absolutely. Yeah, I had seven I think it was seven total reality shows approach me. Um I went through the casting process and that we got where we disconnected was at the point that they would say, you know, okay, let's, let's fake something for TV. And I'm like, this is supposed to be reality TV. Why are we faking things? Because as you well know, how long have you been driving? Seven years. Yep. As you well know, <laughs> the, the things that happen on the road are plenty of adventure for reality TV. Trust me. If there's, there's not even a need to make things up out here because the things we see every day are so unbelievable. <laughs> so, so they, so in one of your videos, you mentioned that one of the producers wanted you and your, uh, your significant other to the fake fight. What, uh, I, I, how yes. did they come in? Yes. <laughs> we were on a casting call together. Um, it, it was originally me and then she's like well bring him on because he's going to be a part of your life you know so he comes on and then she's like okay now we need to get a scene of you two fighting she's like um, and then that's when I told her we don't fight you know we've never fought we've had disagreements everybody does right but we sit down and work them out anyway she wanted us to she said no we'll set up a yell and then storm out and slam a door. I'm like, I don't slam doors. I don't storm out of the room. <laughs> they wanted to make me into something totally different. And I'm starting to wonder how many shows are just all out BS. All of them. All of them. Every last one of them. Every last one of them. The housewives, the basketball wives, the 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 the, the hawk uh knows better. Uh, um, the car shows, all of them. Everything that says reality TV is not reality TV. The Kardashians, all of them. No, they're all they're all fake. I, I believe they're, it. They're all fake. They're all generated to um to generate views. You know that that's that's what they do. It's all about views. And as you already know, drama sells. Drama sells. They they don't it's want they they don't want the cookie cutter. They don't want the they don't want the pretty in pink uh Britney, you know, because they they feel that everybody could get that every day. They they want they right. they want you out of your element so that they can so that they can sell it. You know what? <laughs> I filmed, you know, I film everything. I uh, can tell you, well, to be transparent about it, I have, I have one camera in the sweeper cab. There's more than one reason for this. One is if somebody breaks in and I have to take, you know, action to stop them, I want to be able to prove that I defended myself. <laughs> but I, you see it all. You see my, my moments of anger. You know, I, in frustration, you see me tripping over shit. You see me about breaking my neck. You see like, just everything that happens. 
gets captured. And you know what? Our life is crazy enough as is to just capture it as it is and put it out there. I mean, there's a reason we have 5.5 million views last week. That's incredible. That is incredible. Congratulations for that. Thank you. You're very you. welcome, man. I mean, I mean, it's 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 awesome that you outfitted your truck that way. And, and the idea to do it is, you know, you're, you're the first female truck driver that I ever, you know, seen do something, you know, with, you know, with that idea. Now let's go. You say 18 cameras, like, yes, sir. Go, like, 18. what, I mean, like, what, what, I mean, what, I mean, what do you, what do you have? Like, because I'm, I'm going to assume you don't have like 18 GoPros because that, that'd be, <laughs> that'd be a lot. So what, I mean, like what you got, like a, a, a DVR type system. Yeah. Kind of sort of, uh, we were originally going to use GoPros. I do have one GoPro that I use one of the 18, but our, our issue with the GoPros, they have a short battery life. Right. And you would have to constantly stop and reset each camera. Right. It's impractical. So right. we went on, I went on to Amazon and I found these RV like cameras that are around the RVs. And I bought one. I don't have the name right next to me, but one of the, one of the other ones I got that one of my key cameras is a headset camera used. <laughs> And it's called Ordro. Yeah, so I know. I, I'm, I'm familiar. I'm familiar with that. As a matter of fact, I got two of those. Oh, yeah. My my the one I bought last year finally pooped out. Last me about a year. But I'll tell you what, it went through a year of hell out on the road, and it was worth it. It's not that expensive. All right. So so hey, so yeah. That's that what I mean. So from what I can, what I can reckon. I know you have uh, one on each side of your doors, uh, towards the towards the ground level. Uh, a couple of them inside the truck. Uh, where are the other ones? <laughs> so we have a hood cam facing the windshield. Got that idea from a documentary series on Netflix. Brilliant. Uh, we have a, I have a camera, let's see, let's go to the end cap. I have a camera behind the passenger seat facing me. I have a camera on the front dash facing forward, facing me in cab. And then I have a third one facing out the driver's side window. I have another one facing out the passenger side window to catch people that drive up next to me on that side, semi trucks or whatever. Then I have uh, one in the sleeper cab um above my bed and then let's see let's go i have my headset cam that's one and we have the forward facing dash cam the company also has cameras on the truck which are additions to that we have step cam that catches a lower view on driver's passenger side we have a mirror cam facing back on either side towards the trailer we have lower mirror cam facing into four wheelers as they pass on either side you can see their reactions and is that it <laughs> okay okay no 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 uh, oh, no, no. We have okay two roof cams two roof cams facing uh driver's passenger side so we have a nearly 360 view from the top of the truck <laughs> okay okay that's that's a lot of cameras and you you yourself installed all those cameras and they all Record into a central DVR. How how long how long uh, how long is the the memory? Like, I mean, how long is the memory? I I mean it depends. Um, for one, I've got a process that gets it uploaded to a cloud, so that way we have a backup. But I also use a C card to make sure that the memory is secure in the meantime. And you can go up to two, 256, I believe, on those. So you're talking probably 20 hours, I would say, of record time wow. uh, for each unit. And yeah, this, it's, it's, it's quite a bit. 
and this is and and this like I said, this is a whole DVR system that you have that's operating those additional uh, cameras. Damn good coffee and hot. Yes. Well, I have multiple. So I have multiple DVRs that I run. So I, I run separate systems. So there's a few reasons for that. One's cheaper to do it that way. But also, if somebody breaks in the truck and tries to take the thing apart, they're going to have to get to all my freaking DVRs to get the footage. Oh, okay. <laughs> and even then, if it's uh, already gotten to the cloud, you're screwed. So. <laughs> okay. So so it's easy for you to have, like, I mean, do you manually upload it to the to the cloud or is it automatically uploaded to a cloud at a certain time or or what? If it connects appropriately, it would auto upload. Okay. So what what but type so I, it's so it's the so it's the D V R cloud or you had to get like another you you had to set up another uh account like a, a micros a micro account or a Dropbox account or something like that or the Apple Cloud. Mm -hmm. Something similar. Um, I don't want to get into the specifics because of the security aspect. We still we still do get threats, so <laughs> I don't want to get into the specifics of that because we actually had a hacking attempt last week on our Facebook. People are still trying to shut us down. So. Wow. <laughs> okay. Okay. But. It was a lot of work to wire these things up, but thankfully I had a, I don't know if you know this, I'm a licensed ham radio operator, and I used to wire up uh, patrol cars, emergency vehicles, so <laughs> okay. I have some experience. Okay, that's what's up, that's what's up. So you you able to, you know, when you go home on your downtime or something like that, you you're able to open up your computer, bring, bring the footage down and, and chop it up and edit it up that way. Right. What, what's your, what's your favorite, uh, editing software? Mine's is Adobe. Yours is what? Mine's is, uh, Adobe premiere. Oh, got you. Yeah. I've heard good things about that. So what I do, my favorite go-to is iMovie on my, uh, iPhone, like that's, I, I start the editing process there. Then I transfer it over to, let's see, what is this other one called? Video Leap on my phone for different effects. And then I forward it to the computer where we use Filmora to put the final touches on it. And then you have the final product. It comes out beautifully. All right. All right. So, all right. So moving on. So let's unpack the, 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 the evolution of your YouTube channel because when you started out mm -hmm. back in the day, you 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 kind of started out as the American trucker, then you change it to Britney and Pink, and now it is called Bree TV, right? <laughs> so the official name is Britney Richardson on the channel. It's just my name, but I'm calling my reality series the B R E dot TV. You can type that in and I'll come right up on YouTube. So all right, all right. So as far as YouTube goes, how, how long have you been how long have you been on YouTube? Oh God, I've lost count at this point. <laughs> I was on before I met Jordan. That was over six years ago. So it's been some time. I started filming the earliest videos I had, I was filming when I was with a uh, Hogan transport and I was hauling uh shuttles from Kansas City to St. Louis and back overnight. And I just got bored and started film talking to myself on the camera because I had no way to talk to you, right? And uh I was like, you know what, I'm gonna throw them up on YouTube. Maybe somebody will get a kick out of this. And that's how it all started back in the day. All right, all right. So as far as now as far as YouTube goes, you you just mentioned that you just hit that Five, mi five million, right? Right. Well, the YouTube itself over the history of the channel has hit 15 million uh, views. But across all networks as of last week, we had five, over 5.5 .5 million views in one week's time. 
And we have a combined following of over 202,000 people across all social platforms. All right. So let's, uh, let's, let's uh, tip on YouTube. Have, have you got the, uh, have you got the plaque yet? <laughs> Not quite. We're almost there. We are. We're, let me get you an accurate stat here. We had an influx of subscribers this last month. We are up to 12, we've had 12, thousand two hundred subscribers over the last 30 days we're at sixty six thousand one ninety one so i think we're on par to hit that this year all right congratulations i'm surprised that you uh that you didn't hit it yet and i understand it's it's a slow stride now let me ask you something about social media because you 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 have uh multiple platforms in particularly my least favorite one which is tiktok um I, I talked to a whole bunch of drivers and it looks like a lot of drivers ran from YouTube to uh, and and found, you know, success on TikTok. I say that because I, I say that because, number one, it's about TikTok's algorithm is a lot more easier to, you know, get followers and stuff like that. But it really... You know, you could say that you got like, like, I'll, I'll say mine. I got like 18, 18,000, I guess, uh, followers, but not all of them are followers. Like, they all came mm -hmm. from the, from the For You page. Do you agree with me that the followers mm -hmm. and the subscribers on YouTube are much more much more general, generally uh, supportive of you than the followers of the uh, of TikTok. You know, I would have said that uh, probably a couple of months ago, but I let me tell you, I've met more drivers over the road each day who say, "I follow your TikTok. You're awesome." Over the CV, uh, I'm going to release some more this week. <laughs> but, Every single day, we get about two to three people shouting me out or running up at the truck stop, and about half of them are from TikTok. So, you know, that kind of puts a real aspect on it to me. All right. Well, see, for me, I, I still feel that I, I still feel that because of the work, I, I feel much more, you know, the I, I feel much more support coming from from YouTube than TikTok anyway, because of the fact that, you know, you put in the work, you put in the work, you put in the edits, you put in the, you know what I'm saying? And it's, it's much more, I, I just feel much more rewarding than, than TikTok, than, you know, turning on a video for three minutes and yada, yada, you know, yada, yada, yada for three minutes and boom, they call that content. But, for you, you know, for you, for what you putting up, you know, you actually put the work in and then you just put the edit product up there to make it like is, is, you know, they have to come over to your YouTube page in order to see the, you know, the, the full, maybe 10, 15 minute video. Absolutely. Yeah. I think I would definitely recommend any, anybody on social media or doing this, trying to do this professionally, pick a platform that you can kind of point everybody to one platform. I think that makes more sense. Plus the YouTube's got all of our social links on it. So it kind of makes it simple, but um, you know, I kind of see TikTok a little bit differently. Um, you're right. It is a lot easier. You could put something so stupid, but just an eight second little clip of some, insignificant thing you would think and it blows up to a million views so it seems much easier but i'll tell you one thing i've noticed about tiktok is when we're waiting in the line at a shipping facility and we gotta wait for 30 minutes and it stops and go right it is easier to pull up pull your phone out and flip on tiktok and just flip through a few tiktoks you know kind of bright in your morning and then you get up to the gate shut it off and do your thing so i can kind of see where TikTok fits in on a shorter video uh, content, I can see where it fits in the scheme of things. Whereas maybe at night with your dinner or something, you want to sit down and watch a full-length video on YouTube. All 
All right, that's what's up, man. That's what's up. So you, so you're not you're you're not running away from YouTube. You 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 still over there? That's still your platform. <laughs> hey, I claim all of them. I'm on YouTube. I'm on TikTok. I'm on Twitter. We have a Twitter following now, thanks to Elon Musk. <laughs> I I think I was called a far leftist there for a while because I was on Twitter, but that's changed thanks to Elon. So <laughs> officially, I'm an independent, guys. But um, yeah, we're on Instagram. I'm on Facebook. We just passed 11,000 followers on Facebook alone. Like it's incredible. I'm on LinkedIn. I'm pretty well everywhere. <laughs> Look for a crazy woman in the pink truck. <laughs> All right, so one of the cameras or what yo yo uh cameras caught an accident that was on a highway. Tell us what happened uh when you came up on that. It was a clear black night, a clear white moon where G was on the streets trying to consume some skirts for the E so I could get some phones rolling in my ride, chilling on the line. So left on two one and Lewis some brother shooting dice. So I said, let's do this. Yeah, so I was, I was actually on, the, on my way home and I was coming through Topeka and um, I noticed that there was a tractor trailer off the roadway. It looked like down kind of an embankment. So my first thought, you know, is it wrecked into, you know, down at the bottom? Did it hit a car? Is the cab crushed? Or, you know, did the guy have a heart attack? You know, what's going on? So I pulled over onto the shoulder and ran back there to check on this dude. Thankfully, he was all right. He just ran off the roadway. But it was kind of funny. There was a language barrier. He couldn't speak English, um, only Spanish. And I've been trying to learn Spanish. So I had all these, like, little sticky notes, you know, in La Radio TV. And, like, I could pick up little words. And so... Uh, one word I picked up was, he said, muy frio, and then did like the cold symbol. I'm like, oh, he's cold. That means he's cold. And then he pointed at my truck and said, um, uh, something galiente, galiente, which means hot or warm. And I'm like, oh, he's cold. And, you know, he's probably waiting on a tow truck or something. And so I offered let's bring him back to my cab to warm him up until the tow truck down there. So Brittany, that's, oh, that's kind of scary bringing, bringing a stranger back to your truck. I, I mean, I know, you know, it was, it, it was <laughs> part of the accident and everything like that, but still, I mean, how, how could you trust them? Like, There, I mean, there are indicators, but um, we, before coming back to the truck, <clears throat> he had pulled out, and I, I actually ran back to the truck and grabbed my phone. I thought, translate, right? So we can bridge the language barrier. And um, he pulled out a translator on his phone as well. So we kind of communicated back and forth. I realized, okay, he's with this company. He's waiting on the tow truck. Um we were in a well-lit area there by the service center. So we had traffic around. We had a truck. The semi broke down with a tow truck across the street. So there were other people around. Uh, the guy was smaller than me and much older. So I felt like if he pulled something, I could take him. And then the last thing I won't officially say <laughs> in detail, but I, I am concealed carry. And I have a contingency for many situations in life. Okay. Okay. That's what's up. So did he, so, you know, with the, with the, with the, the language program from both of your phones, was you able to assess what happened? Like, did he, did he fall asleep? Did he hit a deer? Yeah, so, hey, okay. So here's how this goes. So he, he's speaking you know, Spanish into his phone that translates it into English. The English translation was, I was urinating in between the seats. And then I ran off the road. And 
and he starts laughing and then he's like no 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 that's not what it's supposed to say and he he tried a few more times to explain it and it kept mistranslating it so i i'm guessing he he kept doing the sleep sick thing symbol like his hands together like a pillow and leaned his head over so i think he fell asleep um that's about to get out there okay so oh my god oh my god that is the best coffee i've ever tasted Hmm. We had quite the so... time we had, though. <laughs> he was trying to teach me Spanish, and we were going back and forth, and whole things on video. We'll have a full length video coming out with it. It was it was uh, a fun experience. I'm glad he was all right. I'm glad he's all right too. I'm still trying to figure out the the cause, though. I mean, could be possible that. He's trying to urinate and and ran off the side of the road. I mean, there ain't nothing to laugh at, but I mean, I I, I think I can I can see that. But then when he came back and said, Oh, I, I, I fell asleep, I don't know. I think I would go with the former. I, I will say that, yeah, you know, I was trying to urinate and you know, I kind of you know, try while I'm urinating, you know, I, I know I could have pulled off to the side of the world officer, but you know, you guys got uh, problems with us being on the side of the road, which is called sitting duck. Now, you know, you don't want us to sit on the side of the road. So we got to, you know, them trying to urinate and, you know, it kind of slipped off the side of the road <laughs> instead of saying, well, you know, I went to sleep officer. And yeah, I, I I don't think I would want to go with the, I, I don't I want, think I want to go with that one. <laughs> I want to again to ask you, why in the hell would you want to fake reality TV when you got this shit that happens every day? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. You, I mean, you you can't. What what's the what's what's the uh, catchphrase? You you can't make this shit up. <laughs> you can't. You yeah, cannot I make this up. Trust me, especially on the ha these highways. <laughs> um, all right. So for for you for for you, uh, Brittany, uh, you you're owner op. So the standard for you to conceal carry is way different than if you was a company driver, right? I mean, this this is your truck, and you are conceal and you are conceal carry, right? Correct. Yeah, I'm licensed concealed carry out of the state of Kansas. Um, I'm not confirming or denying that I carry on the truck. Um, I'm not going to make any statements specifically, but I will say this. Every time we're supposed to, as concealed carry, you're supposed to announce to an officer that you're licensed concealed carry so that he has no surprises when he runs your license. It's a courtesy thing to an officer. Every time I've done that, the officer said, great. I would hope you would have a gun with you. That was that's the response I get. Um, so I've never met an officer that's opposed to having a firearm out on the road, um, especially if you're concealed carry. It means you've been trained, you've cleared a background check, all that good stuff. <clears throat> all right, it's just uh, it's just as a courtesy. So that's what's up. All right, well that's it. Yeah, uh, did you see that last video with the? Kansas with State the, with the yeah, 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 that yeah. That was a pretty, that was a pretty, uh, that was a great, that was a good, that was a good, yeah. uh, episode. Why did he pull you over, Absolutely. though? Absolutely. And so he said it was because of a, uh, light that he thought was broken, but of course he whipped around on me before he could ever see that light. Um, I don't know, to be quite I, honest. You know, I have a lot of I, I think he I was, have a lot of troopers that follow me. I, I think he was <laughs> so. sweet. I, I think he was sweet on you though. He, he offered you to come back to the car and everything. That that's right. a first. I never seen a trooper or a DOT be like, yeah, driver, come on over to the come on over and get in the front seat of my car. Like 
I, I think he was sweet on right. me. He, he was a sweetheart, though. I'll tell you what. You know what? It took some time out of my day, but RTI did pay me for a clean inspection, so I got paid there. We released a video, as you see, which boosted my income on YouTube by many hundreds of dollars, and then we made an extra $1,000 on OnlyFans from it. So the whole ordeal, I'm probably profited $1,500 taking some time out to speak with this officer. And here's the best part. We sent out a positive video showing good interaction with law enforcement that we do. I know there are bad apples, trust me, but we do have good officers out there. That's what's up. That's what's up. Brittany Richardson, Brittany and Pink, the American trucker, Bree Tree, uh, Bree, B R, what is it? B R E dot TV, Bree TV. <laughs> yes, but it has a Z at the front of it. It's Z, B R E dot TV. B R E dot TV. All right. You guys can check there her you out. Go. You guys could check her out on all platforms. She she's on all of them, all of them. She got them covered. Not everywhere. You got you got them covered. You got you only fans. Oh yeah, we just launched five. We have five platforms in Eastern Europe. We just launched, and we're also in China. There's now a Britney Richardson China. China. That, uh, the Chinese people are very excited about this. Yes, Air Media helped us launch this. Lord. <laughs> so. I mean, with, with, with your social media, you know, blowing up like it is, are are you going to give up trucking or is trucking part of the content, as I always say? <laughs> no, I don't plan to give up trucking. I love it. Uh, what I hope to do is use cash flow to be able to have more of a balance in life, if that makes sense. Um because I love trucking, but I also love my family. I love my friends. I love my church. And um, I love my community. So I want to be part of all of it. All right. That's what's up, everybody. Brittany, thank you for coming on once again. Uh, beautiful conversation as always. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Anytime. You can call me anytime. I like these for the moment interviews. That's what's up. 